to crochet the next row after a foundation chain, you actually want to crochet into the second chain from the hook. So what does that mean? This example, I've got 10 chain stitches. You can tell because I've got 10 Vs. The way I can see what stitch is the second stitch from the hook is I take a look at the loop that's on the hook and then I check out what V that loop traces back into. That's the first stitch from the hook, the first chain stitch from the hook. I want to skip that and then I want to put my hook under only the top loop of the next horizontal V, which is this one. So the top loop means if this is what your V looks like, you only want to put your hook under the loop that is further away from you. So make sure you get that under only that part of the V so that it looks like you've got two loops on the hook. Then if you're going to make a single crochet stitch, do it like normal. So that is just a yarn over. And now you pull that through only the stitch. In this case, it's only the top loop of that V so that you have two loops on your hook. Then you yarn over again and pull it through both loops on the hook. And there you have completed your first single crochet stitch in the second row of your piece. For the rest of the stitches in this row, you want to keep on crocheting only under the top loops of the stitch, of the previous stitch. So you're constantly splitting the V of the foundation chain that you made for the row that comes after the foundation chain. 